OK, so Shane Byrne was joined by Malcolm O'Kelly this week and Marcus Horn to launch the Ireland versus England Rugby Legends match. It takes place in the RDS on Friday the 1st of February with all proceeds from this great event being split amongst the My Name's Doddy Foundation, Rugby Players Ireland Foundation, Restart Rugby, the IRFU Charitable Trust and Irish Motor Neuron Charities. For tickets, you can search hashtag Rugby Legends or visit Ticketmaster.ie. And I'm delighted to say that Shane Byrne joins us on the line now. Shane, how are things? Very good. And yourself? Not too bad, thanks. So, uh, this is a, a match that many people will know about. It takes place every time uh, England come to play Ireland in the Six Nations. It is the weekend uh, of the big game. And this year, uh, it's an aid of the Dotty Weir Foundation. Obviously, a great, great cause for Dotty, who's suffering with motor neuron disease at the moment. Yeah, look, you'd want to be stuck underneath a rock, really, in rugby terms, not to be well aware of what's happening with Dotty. Uh, it's a terrible diagnosis, as we know. We've lost just went to the best station a couple of years back with the same thing. And Unfortunately, Dottie's cause is all about trying to find a cure because right now, as we speak, there isn't one. And uh, Dottie is just bravely keeping going and flying around the world, just raising awareness and raising as much funds as we can. We've always done this uh, charity event. We're in our 11th year. We've raised over a million sterling for charities, mainly injured players funds. But every now and again, a special cause comes along. And as I say, we're all very, very aware of what's happening with Doddy. And uh, myself and Jason Leonard and Len Deneen, who put the event together, we just said, look, this is something we have to get behind. And everybody really, really is hoping that something can be done to, you know, that there might be a bit of good news for Doddy and his family. Yeah, absolutely. And whenever you look at interviews with Dottie over the past six months or so, and I know he's going to be in Ireland next week and for the event yeah. itself all going well, it's remarkable how in encouraged he is by all the support. And it is events like this that keep the morale up and an extremely tough time for him and his family. Yeah, I've spoken to him several times and about this in particular. And, you know, he always is talking about what a humbling experience it is for him. Because, look, as rugby players, we're all aware that People are vaguely aware. People are vaguely aware of who you are, and they might have seen you play. But when something like this happens to one of our own, as we would say, it's like Dottie's uh, when he was you know, diagnosed like that. That's when the rugby family really starts getting exercise and really starts supporting it. And he's found it very, very humbling. It, it's a, as we say, it's a hard time for him and his family. But you know, he's just driven on by the support that he has, and that. So many people are coming behind us, and we're just one of a long, long list. But to me, there hasn't been too much going on in Ireland for this. There has been small bits and pieces, individuals doing what they can. But to me, I'd really hope that people can get behind this and just really, as I said, pull that rugby family together. And it's, it's something very, very important. You're going to come. You're going to be very entertained in the game. We've made it a little bit unique. Uh, for the first time, this is the 11th year our game has been going uh, going on, and this is the first time we're going to allow a different country. And so, we're, as guests, we're going to have four Scottish players, Scottish internationals, are playing with us. Right. So that's going to add a little twist to it. Where we've made a unique jersey, and uh, we'll add a little bit of a twist in our full intentions of beating the hell out of it. <laughs> Uh, I was just going to ask because, as I say, it is uh, Ireland against England. Obviously, uh, a yeah. few Scots thrown into the mix this time. Presumably, like obviously, it's for a great cause and all that, but the, the rivalry isn't uh, too shallow, I'd imagine. I'm, I'm sure a few things flare up during this match every second year. Oh, they do. Listen, you can't, with rugby, and particularly as we've all played at a very high level, you can't water it down too much. <laughs> you know, you can only make it uncontested scrums, which it is, and rolling subs. But after that, it's full on, and it's, it's as hard as guys make it, and there's no nothing shirked away from it. The skill levels are still there. The bodies might move quite as fast as they used to, but it, they're still very, very entertaining games. We had our first draw, would you believe, last year over in London, which was uh, you know something that nobody was too happy about. We wanted to yeah. win the game. But the rivalry is there, absolutely, and you can't help it. But the great thing is, there's no anger in these times. You'll hit the guy good and hard, but then, look, he'll have him back off the ground. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. Because we have, it's back almost to the amateur days of the pure enjoyment of the game, the reason that we all play it. But it's fantastic seeing we're now in the generation of players. Gordon Darcy was the first one who came along a couple of years ago to play with us, who had never, he went straight from school to professional rugby. 
you never experienced anything really to do with club rugby or that kind of ethos. So it's great to see his eyes opened up to the fun side of rugby. <laughs> and the reason why us older guys really love the game. Absolutely, yeah. And as we've said, it is for a fantastic cause. Ticketmaster is where you can get tickets and uh, you can look up hashtag Rugby Legends as well if you're interested in heading along the weekend of the Ireland-England game in the Six Nations. Uh, we should chat about a rivalry of a different kind, uh, Shane. It is uh, the week where we've all been talking about Leinster against Munster, a pretty testy affair down in Thoman Park a few days ago at this stage. Uh, what was your sense of the whole game? For a lot of us, I think we were uh, kind of in admiration of the idea that Leinster versus Munster sort of hate each other again. <laughs> yes, and I suppose that's where we could start from. Is 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 simply, you know, regardless of how it came about, it was great to see that that rivalry was still there. Much mm. discussion about that. It didn't mean as much to the players as it used to. The squad rotations. Those two teams absolutely tore into one another. And okay, Leinster didn't deal with the situation as well as they should have. That's a different argument to me. That is very much still about the fact that the passion was still there. And you could see from the way even Johnny Sexton, the World Player of the Year, was reacting to it, that this meant so much. As I've always said, the guys who you know the best are the guys you want to lose the least. And these guys know each other absolutely inside out. And that's exactly, you know, the passion you want to see. Then you go on to analyzing the game. They probably, listen, both sides should have done, to me, so many things just slightly different but look, it, it was great to see the first half. And, you know, the win to Munster was, was well-deserved. Yeah. What will it be like for those guys going into Ireland camp? I know it's a bit down the line at this point uh, after <laughs> an experience like that. I'm sure it'll all be shelved, right? I yeah, no, there's no... Listen, it's always been like that. And back in the days when, you know, the, the Interpros were still the, were part of the main part of the seasons and the main... You could look at them almost as trials, that they are, you know... The Irish squad still, you go in, that's under a different camp, you have a different jersey on your back, yeah, you still love your province, but yeah, it's all forgiven. You know, but that's the respect that they have for one another, is that they will not take a step back. You know, that is you know, showing respect, you know, in, in the true sense of the word, that if you didn't treat the guys like that, it's, it's almost a little disrespect, and, and I don't think they did that. And to be honest with you, I, I loved the first half of that game in particular. I just mm. thought it was great to see. Bit of brainless stuff, bit of silliness, but still it was great to see that pure out-and-out -out passion and how much it meant to those players. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Leinster this week, they're up against Ulster at 5.15 mm -hmm. on Saturday this weekend. Uh, what, what would Leinster have learned from last weekend? I mean, it's obviously a crucial period coming up from them. It's still, from an Irish perspective, every province still has to do their bit in the Champions Cup section. But this weekend, the Interpros have the added spice of being conference matchups match as well. Obviously, uh, yep. it's uh, conference B for Leinster and Ulster this weekend. Yep. Um Look, to be honest with you, I think one of the main things that came out of the game last weekend was, was Leicester's discipline. And I think it's been something that's been talked about in positive ways in so many, for so many seasons that their discipline is normally very, very good. And I think that's one thing they'll want to get very, very much back on track this weekend is that they are back in control of that area in any kind of, you know, discipline issues, any type, any type of tight scenarios where you could go one way or the other, that that's what they show the control because that's what they need when they go back into Europe. They need to have that discipline because now sides have kind of shown, you know, you saw the way Bath tore into them in the, in the previous pools of Europe and they showed the way how Munster got in among them and upset them and a lot of sides are going to be paying attention to that in Europe so that you know, they really think, look, this is maybe the route to go with these guys, is tear into them physically, upset them, make them get, make simple errors. And, you know, maybe there's going to be a weak underbelly and Leinster need to show that that just isn't the case, that they're still mm. open for business in the highly disciplined way that they have been right up until this stage. Yeah, just a quick word on Ulster. Obviously, they've come up, come on leaps yeah. and bounds, really, I think it's fair to say, this season. At the same time, though, it's probably not sensible to be throwing your lot in against Leinster this weekend, given the huge opportunity they have in the Champions Cup. Rassing, of course, coming on January the 12th, yeah. I think. And you look at the likes of Jordy Murphy and John Cooney, who've played uh, all five, really, of the, of the last few games uh, in the Pro 14. So it's probably more sensible for them to put, them, to put their eggs in the European basket at the moment, right? No doubt. Absolutely no doubt. Um, 
I, to be quite honest with you, I've been, you know, very impressed with, with Ulster over the last couple of weeks. It's been great to see them starting to show form, but I honestly thought the undoing of them was going to be the Interpros because they have lost the ability over the last few years, and you're going back five, six years to play the other Irish provinces. They doesn't irrelevant to the form that they're in up until those games. They don't play well against Irish provinces, and I think Munster handed them a bit of a lifeline in the sense that they rotated their squad quite heavily heading up. They got that win, which was something for them, no doubt about it, but I can't see them being able to, because they need to rotate their squad quite a bit, as you say, with a huge week coming up. I, I cannot see them going out all guns blazing for this game. No. Uh, and then finally, Connacht against Munster. It's at 25-8 mm. to 8 on Saturday evening in the sports ground. Connacht can actually leapfrog Munster in Conference A with a win. They're going to be missing Bundiaki, but I guess from a Connacht perspective, they don't have the Champions Cup to worry about. Of course, they've still got uh, Challenge Cup matches coming up, but yeah. the carrot of Munster looking at the end of January is, is a much bigger one than Connacht. So they can really focus on uh, this Saturday evening in Galway, can't they? Yeah, look, to be quite honest with you, I've been confused a few times with Connacht's selection, but it seems to be working. They're rotating reasonably well. Bundyaki not been there. Yeah, it's a, it's a blow. Look, he's a fantastic player. So important to everything that they do. But it's, it's uh, yeah, th there's a great opportunity for Connacht to come here because Munster do have to have an eye on what's happening in the next couple of weeks. Not saying Connacht won't do that either. And one thing you have to say about Connacht is that they are managing to be able to rotate a squad they are finally being able to get depth into the squad through this squad rotation. But I would expect Connacht to have a very, very strong push at getting a win against Munster. That would be exactly what they need. Yeah, absolutely. It is a double header in the Pro 14 in terms of Interpros this weekend. It's 5.15 for Leinster against Ulster and then 7.35 Connacht against Munster. You've been listening to Shane Byrne. He was joined by Malcolm O'Kelly and Marcus Horn to launch the Ireland versus England Rugby Legends match taking place at the RDS on Friday the 1st of February. All proceeds from this fantastic event are going to be split amongst the My Name's Doddy Foundation, Rugby Players Ireland Foundation, Restart Rugby, the IRFU Charitable Trust and Irish Motor Newer and Charities. For tickets, you can search hashtag Rugby Legends Legends, I should say, or visit Ticketmaster.ie. Shane Byrne, thanks a million for your time. No problem.